My next team is Bambi Medical. They are based in the Netherlands. Premature babies are extremely vulnerable. Keeping them warm and monitoring their vital signs is crucial for their life. Today we use incubators and electrodes attached to the baby's skin, but they are far from ideal for the parent, the medical professional and the infant. Isn't there a smarter solution? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please for Fabio Bambang Ultimo of Bambi Medical. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can you repeat that? Okay, I'm just hearing from the producer that we have breaking news. Let's have a look. Geen vervelende plakkers en draden meer bij couveuse baby's, maar een simpel zacht bandje. Het is een nieuwe medische vinding, bedacht door een kinderarts van het Maxima Medisch Centrum in Veldhoven. Ouders en artsen zijn enthousiast. Jaden werd twaalf weken te vroeg geboren. Sindsdien brengen zijn ouders heel wat uren door in de couveuse. Bij zijn geboorte woog hij maar 800 gram. Veel te klein natuurlijk, moeite met ademhalen. Uh, maar ja, ik heb hem eigenlijk niet gezien, want ik moest natuurlijk nog een bevalling afronden. Dus hij werd gelijk weggehaald om uh, te onderzoeken. Vanaf dan zit Jaden vast aan allemaal draadjes. Even knuffelen is dus heel lastig. En zijn ouders merken dat hij niet blij is met de plakkers. Um, dat hij er zelf aan zit te friemelen en ja, als ze ermee bezig zijn gaat hij ook wel huilen. Of dan geeft hij ook echt wel aan dat het niet leuk is. Om de paar dagen krijgt hij nieuwe. Zij verving al duizenden plakkers. En op het moment dat uh, de geleiding niet meer goed is, dus dat we geen goede metingen hebben of het kindje gaat in bad, dan moeten ze er dus weer af en dat is niet, uh, niet heel prettig voor de kindjes. En pijn is niet het enige. Al die stress is ook nog slecht voor de ontwikkeling. Maar dit is misschien wel de toekomst. Een riempje, bedacht door kinderarts Bambang Otomo. Ik heb een, een band bedacht die om de borst van de baby kan worden geplaatst. En die bevat de sensoren die de ademhaling en de hartfrequentie en de temperatuur kunnen monitoren. Zodat je geen plakelektrodes meer nodig hebt. En bovendien is dit systeem draadloos. En dus er zijn geen kabels die de baby belemmeren om bij de ouders op de borst te komen. Bij gezonde baby's blijkt de riem prima te werken. En dus gaan ze het volgend jaar proberen bij de allerkleinste. Ik weet vrij wel zeker dat het voor kindjes in de toekomst zeker wel beter zal zijn. Ook omdat je dan iets minder bedradingen van hem ziet en dan iets minder als een patiëntje ziet. Zeg maar. Helaas voor Jaden, ze verwachten dat hij nog zeker tot november onder de plakkers zit. Ja, ook de Nederlandse Vereniging voor Kindergeneeskunde is enthousiast over het riempje. De uitvinder hoopt dat het in 2018 op de markt komt. Goed, so This item was shown to 1.6 million viewers last Saturday evening on the 8 o'clock news. So I hope you haven't seen it yet, but maybe you have, looking at these numbers. So the NOS thinks that the Bambi Belt is a great product. Let me tell you today why I believe that this is a great product. But let's start here. In addition, to being an entrepreneur, I am a father. And I will never forget this moment when I was holding my daughter Olivia for the first time. <laughs> But unfortunately, not all parents are as lucky as I am. The sad reality is still way too many babies are born far too early. And let me explain this better by introducing you to Lisa. Lisa was born 12 weeks too early. And as a result, she spends most of her time in this glass box called an incubator, where her vital signs are being monitored by the adhesive electrodes stuck to her chest. Lisa's little hands and arms get entangled in all the cables, which causes stress. And all the removal of electrodes give a lot of pain to her. On top of that, Lisa is separated from her parents way too much. And as a result of this, she doesn't get sufficient kangaroo mother care, which is the skin-to-skin -skin contact that all babies need. There's been a lot of scientific research about the positive benefits of kangaroo mother care for both the parents and their children. 
according to the WHO, kangaroo mother care reduces sickness and mortality, it improves the brain development of the baby, and it will lower the length of stay in the hospital. Can you imagine the impact it will have on parents to take their babies home earlier? Next to these short-term benefits, there are great long-term benefits as well. The children will have much better learning and concentration, less behavioral problems, and a happier and more emotionally balanced life. So it really brings me to the question, why are we still doing this to babies in the 21st century? Why hasn't anyone come up with a less intrusive way of monitoring our preterms? Well, as you've already seen on the news, we have the solution, the Bambi belt, wireless monitoring. The Bambi belt consists of a disposable belt and a transmitter that sends the signal over Bluetooth to a receiver. This receiver is plugged into the patient monitor. Hospitals can use today's patient monitors of all different manufacturers to monitor with the Bambi belt. We will get to all of them. But you need to start somewhere. So we are very happy that we signed an agreement to bring the Bambi belt signal to all the Philips patient monitors. <laughs> and you're probably interested to learn the price. So the Bambi belt disposable will sell at 40 euros and the required hardware sells at 3,000 euros. These are all validated price points. The Bambi belt disposable can be worn for an average of three days before it needs to be removed. So the concept of the Bambi belt was invented by my father, Siddhartha. He has been treating preterm infants for over 35 years. In addition to that, he is a professor in industrial design at the Eindhoven University of Technology. I have successfully held management positions at multinational companies for the last 13 years. Last February, I decided to quit my job as supply finance manager at Mars in order to join my father in realizing his vision of improving the care for our little ones. Besides the two of us, we have a great team. Over only the last couple of months, we've been able to attract and retain all these highly talented individuals, and we form a fully engaged team. But that's not it. We know as a startup that we cannot do everything ourselves. So we have also teamed up with these two strong and committed partners. The whole center, a great R&D firm that is co-developing with us the Bambi Belt Disposable. And Demcon, a leading engineering company in the Netherlands that is developing the hardware of the Bambi Belt. So in the globe, in the developed world, there are two million premature babies born every year. By the Bambi Belt, we can make sure that they spend two days less in the hospital at a daily cost of 2,000 euros. This leads to a potential saving of 8 billion euros in healthcare costs a year. So in order to get there, we engaged all 10 Dutch hospitals with an intensive care unit for babies. The doctors and the nurses are really excited about what we're doing, and they also showed it. Out of the 10, eight signed up. They not only want to participate in the clinical trials, but they will also buy the Bambi belt once it's on the market. So with these partners, we can now start testing in hospitals. And next year, we'll be doing a multi-center clinical trial 
On top of that, we're getting the required CE marking to sell a medical device in Europe. And we'll start our sales by 2018. We'll do this in a phased rollout over Europe. We'll start sales in the Benelux, Germany, Scandinavia. By 2019, we will be monitoring 15,000 babies, realizing a revenue of 14 million. A couple of years later, in 2021, we'll be monitoring throughout Europe, 55,000 babies generating 44 million euros of revenue. And over these revenues, we will realize a very high EBITDA margin of 40%. In order to get there, we need some help. At the moment, we're looking for seed funding of 500,000 euros. As from yesterday, there's a convertible note issue open on the LeapFunder platform. I'm really excited to tell you that 70% of this amount has been committed today. 350,000 euros. <laughs> but we're not there yet. We still have room for all of you to become an investor in Bambi Bell. There's still 150,000 euros left. So, in order to become one of our investors, please join us at our booth and help us make baby lives happier from day one. <laughs>